In the Stardew Valley 1.6 update, you may have noticed the addition of these gigantic trees over in Cindersap Forest, west of Marnie's Ranch. Not only are these trees stunning to look at, they also serve a functional purpose that will result in many rewards for you. Well, one tree does at least. The stump that is of note is this one right here. And in this video, we are going to go over how to complete each quest, what each quest will reward you with, and after we've covered all that, we will determine whether or not it's worth it in the long run. For a while, it will just be a regular old gigantic tree with no notable attributes. In order to trigger the event for this tree, you're going to need to complete the pantry bundle in the community center, which grants the player access to the greenhouse on their farm. In the cutscene of the greenhouse being repaired overnight, if you're paying attention, you'll notice a little raccoon scurry off screen. From then on, there's a 10% chance every night that a strong windstorm event will occur overnight. And from now on, if you take a look at the stump, it is now chopped in half and has a little question mark on it indicating action needed to be taken. When you click on it, it asks you to fix the tree stump with 100 pieces of hardwood. Once you've collected said hardwood, wood and offered it to the stump, it will then turn into a giant tree stump house with a little chimney, a window, and a door. If you interact with the house, a text box will pop up saying maybe someone will decide to move in. Then all you have to do is go to sleep and the next day you will have a new little raccoon friend doing a little dancey dance. Interacting with the raccoon will begin the first request with a very cute exclusive quest board design. The quest board will change a little bit with each request. The requested items often require various uses of the artisan equipment such as the dehydrator, fish smoker, and preserves jar. The item requested will always be related to and obtainable in the current season. The first round of requests chooses two items from a specific pool of items. In this case, we got five mussels and one smoked flounder. Once completed, the raccoon rewards you with 25 carrot, summer squash, broccoli, or powder melon seeds, depending on the season you're in. If you interact with the raccoon afterwards, he says he's gonna go find a wife. Good for him. Seven in-game days later, when you roll up to the stump, there will now be two raccoons present, a husband and a wife. The wife raccoon now has a little trading shop where she will trade you specific items for seasonal seeds that are not sold in stores anywhere else. And you can now interact with the husband raccoon for your second quest. Quest number two will pull two items from each of these pool of items. In this case, we have to get dried cranberries and apple jelly. So by throwing five cranberries into a dehydrator and an apple into a preserves jar, we've got ourselves exactly what we need. Toss it in the box and boom, second quest, complete. You will be rewarded with a new power book, the Raccoon Journal. Reading this book increases your chances of yielding mixed seeds. And from now on, the wife raccoon will sell the same book in her shop for 999 fiber. Rereading this book will grant some foraging experience. And now the couple are ready to start a family. After waiting another week, you'll notice an adorable baby raccoon peeking its head out of the stump. And you can now begin quest number three. The third request will pull two items from this pool of items. We got dried common mushrooms and five eggs. So let's pop those babies in and there you go. You will then be rewarded with a cute little raccoon hat. And the wife raccoon will now sell the same hat in her shop for 10 mixed seeds. And now the family can grow bigger. Another in-game week later, there are now two babies and you can begin your fourth quest. The raccoon will request two of any of these items at random. We're tasked with getting snow yam juice and pickled cave carrot. Yum. Putting these items in will result in the raccoon gifting you fairy dust. Fairy dust can be used on kegs, furnaces, and other refining equipment to instantly receive their product. Pretty cool. Fairy dust is an item that was introduced in 1.5. And looking at the wiki, I'm pretty sure you could only get the recipe from Birdie on Ginger Island. So yeah, now we have a new way of getting fairy dust, so that's cool. And the wife's raccoon shop will now be expanded and she will sell mixed seeds for a cave carrot. And the raccoons will get it on again and have another baby. A week later, you can now begin your fifth request. If you talk to the raccoon, he needs a gift for the missus. This request will choose two of any of these items at random. In this case, we need 20 bug meat and 8 geodes. Easy enough. Completing this request rewards you with a very cool looking gift, a jungle tank. This beautiful tank can be placed in your farmhouse and can house any of these items or sea creatures. I love the look of this tank so much. It has so much more life to it than the other fishing tanks in Stardew Valley. Plus the wife raccoon will also sell the same jungle tank in her shop for five broken glasses. A steal if you ask me. The raccoon then states that they are happy for now. A week later, you will notice a fourth baby raccoon. And from now on, there are very specific rewards for for each quest completed. The quest board will mimic the same requirements of exactly one of the first five requests chosen at random. Once completed, you may receive one of five gifts. Fairy dust, which we covered earlier, 25 seasonal seed bags, depending on the season you're in. You may get a random unshipped item from your collections, other than row, artisan goods, or four mystery.
mystery boxes, which is a little bit of a confusing sentence, so let me explain. In your collection's inventory, there is a list of shippable items. In order to achieve perfection in Stardew Valley, one of your goals is to ship all of these items at least once. So this is a way to help you do that. The raccoon will give you the first item that you have not shipped before. In this case, that would be the horseradish. And so the next one would be the daffodil. So this is just another way to help players achieve perfection. Another gift you may receive from now on is star drop tea. Star drop tea is a very interesting item. It is a gift that everyone in the valley loves, but it's on a different higher tier than love, super love, if you will. Star drop tea can be gifted for 250 friendship points or one heart. If given as a birthday gift or during the feast of the winter star, it is worth 750 friendship points or three hearts. What's super interesting about star drop tea is that it does not count towards the daily or weekly gift limits and can be freely gifted even if the limits have been reached. So hypothetically, you could just keep gifting someone star drop tea over and over and over and over and over and over over and over and over again. This might sound pretty OP, but the star drop teas are a little harder to come by without using cheats, so I think it kind of evens out. And the final gift you may receive from the raccoons from now on is the Book of Stars. This is a skill book that upon reading will grant you 250 experience points in all of your skills. If you've already reached level 10 in all of your skills, you will instead earn 1,250 experience points towards your mastery points. By continuing to do the quest for the raccoons, they can have up to seven children. Once they've reached seven kids, you will receive the Good Neighbors Achievement Badge for helping your forest neighbors grow their family. And with your raccoon hat, I feel like I'm one of them. So now that we've covered all the rewards you get for this quest line, let's answer the question. Is completing the raccoon quest line worth it? I would say yes. Not only do you get some pretty cool rewards like fairy dust, one of your inventory book powers, star drop tea, the powerful book of stars, an exclusive jungle themed tank, a new achievement star, and an entirely new trading shop with access to seasonal crops that can usually only be foraged, plus a lot more. And these little guys can also help you get some of those pesky shipping items that are needed to achieve perfection. Plus, just look how adorable they are when the whole family is together. How could you look at that and tell me it's not worth it? And that, my friends, is everything you need to know about the giant stump and the raccoon family in the Stardew Valley 1.6 update. Let me know down in the comments if you think this quest line is worth the effort. If you found this video helpful at all, please drop a like on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already for more Stardew Valley 1.6 content. I also live stream Stardew Valley Let's Plays here on YouTube multiple times a week. I would love to see you there one day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.